Aloha, my name is Eduardo Hernandez. I am a volunteer member of the board of the Hawaii LGBT Legacy Foundation. And I am so grateful to be part of this community. I came out in 1982. And, um, you know, in June of 1981, we, the world first came to know uh, about uh, an illness in a select group of gay men. And I was 16 years old and I didn't know anything about pandemics. I didn't know a lot about gay anything. Um, all I knew was that I was unlike anybody I knew in school. <laughs> and um, and so I was trying to, to tap into what why was I so different and where could I where could I find myself and one day I heard my father say that he was so sorry for my my cousin Lou because Lou Lou had a gay son and my father said that would be just awful um, you know I can't imagine how terrible it is for him and with that I was like I know somebody who's gay <laughs> I wrote a letter to my cousin. He was a few years older than me. Uh, our families were close, but he and I weren't close, but I wrote a letter to him and, and I came out to him. And that was the start of an amazing um, relationship. And he, he brought me into his gay family with this, like, he became like my gay big brother. He was very protective of me and um, taught me you know, that like, it was okay to be gay and, and we would have dinners together and just normal things and watch videos. And, um, and, I, and I was young and, I, and I, although I heard about this pandemic, I didn't think it could be in, not in this new family that I just found. We were like, you know, we weren't like those other people and, um, but then, you know, as I came to learn, we were like other people and this was in our family. And, um, you know, my cousin Craig passed away in 1992. And he is, you know, he's been with me, you know, even though he's not here, like I couldn't be the person I am without him. So thank you, cousin Craig. Um, but I, I guess why I'm here is because um, I know that that was so powerful for me to have to have somebody who I who could mentor me and not mentor is not the right word but to um, but to be my family and uh, so like I want to be there for someone else and that's very much what this organization means to me is to be there for other people so that uh, no one has to be alone or live in shame or live in fear um, because we're we're all just like each other and we that's that's who we are